Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and here is an interesting question on instantaneous rate of change. The question is, instantaneous rate of change at some points on the following function is undefined. Determine the points on each of the following functions and explain the reason. There are three functions given to us and we need to find the points where it is not possible to have instantaneous rate of change at that point. Now, for any rational function, there are two points where we cannot have instantaneous rate of change. A point where we have vertical asymptote and the other point is where we'll have a hole, right? Simple reason is that these points are not in the domain of that function, right? So a rational function can have restrictions in the domain and those points which are not on the rational function's graph, there we cannot draw a tangent line. And so at that point, we can't have instantaneous rate of change, right? So we need to find from these equations the points where we could have a vertical asymptote or a hole. So that is really the question. So the very first one, we could write it in factored form as f of x equals to 2x minus 1 over x square minus 1 could be written as x plus 1 times x minus 1. So this equation has two vertical asymptotes, right? So we have vertical asymptotes at x equals to plus and minus 1. So these are the points where we cannot have instantaneous rate of change, right? The second function is for us f of x equals to, let me factor the denominator, we get x and then we get x square minus 1 and x square minus 1 can further be factored so we'll get x times x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now in this particular case we have a common factor in numerator and denominator which gives us a whole at x equals to 1 and we have vertical asymptotes at these points right so vertical asymptote is at x equals to 0 and at minus 1. So in this case we have three points where the instantaneous rate of change is not possible. Points at x equals to 0, sorry, this is 0, right? Yeah, 0 and minus 1, this is 0. x will give us at 0. So these are the three points. x equals to 1 has a hole and x equals to 0 and minus 1 will have vertical asymptotes. The last one here is f of x equals to 2x minus 1 over x square plus 1. In this particular function, the denominator is never 0, right? It is always positive. It's never 0. So here we have no restriction at all, right? So no restriction. So there is no point on this function in the set of real numbers where we can't find or where we cannot get instantaneous rate of change, right? So this one has no restriction, right? So that is how we can figure out the points where or the x values where the function will not have instantaneous rate of change, right? So that's how we answer them. So basically it means you need to find the hole in the vertical asymptote and since these points are not in the domain of the function, you cannot find instantaneous rate of change at these points, right? So the reason is, so what you have to do is, you have to determine holes and vertical asymptotes, right? To answer this question, right? So these are not in the domain of the function. And so you cannot have instantaneous rate of change at these points. I hope that's clear. Thank you.